Kia ora and warm greetings. We continue our episode of Bahia on Air, which explains further the Bahia-inspired Junior Youth Empowerment Program. After an assignment headed by the Bahia World Centre to foster a growth in learning and community building, the centre found that young people aged between 12 to 15 were the most receptive. The focus then shifted to empowering this group of eager learners and educating them on reading, science and mathematics so that they can be agents of change within their communities. Today it is offered in every country in the world where the tools are a set of books and service projects headed by a person or persons aged 16 or older called an animator. Think of ourselves as heroes and role models because we can do a lot if we put our mind to it. If you were here um, in this community five years ago, there was a lot of violence that was present in this community, but through the establishment of this program, the future generations were guided towards a more positive direction, and the service projects that they have done has impacted the community in a positive way. And presently, you do not see violence in our community. If we just do this in our group itself, it's only going to change our minds. But if once I've seen people getting inspired and all the people joining in and us working as a team, I believe, I believe that we can make this place beautiful. What are you doing? Picking up trash. Why? Two. So, um, because we need to care for the world. Why do you care for the world? Because you can't just throw stuff and say, I don't care about the world. That'll be junky. That's not clean. That's not nice. You don't treat God the world like that. They will definitely learn the lessons of sustainability. They will definitely learn the lessons of cause and effect. Because many of the bags and pans that we pick up, not only do they drop, but their peers drop. So they see what can happen when they may have dropped a piece of trash and where it blows into. Um, also because they are actually going down there and doing the work, they see how much work it really takes to maintain a healthy community. If you see this, then could you please try to help us and him pick up the trash with this because we don't want any pollution in the air or for animals to die by swallowing up the trash. How do you feel about the project that you were part of today? I feel good because we're helping out the environment and we're helping the animals so they'll have a better habitat. If you care about the environment, it shows that you care about yourself and other people that live in the world. So around these service projects, we also identify not only the surface causes but the root causes to these problems and then they identify interventions that would address the surface level and develop an understanding of how they can contribute to changing the norm that contributes to the root causes. In this community, many of the young Eh, no estudian, eh, se salen del colegio, entonces el programa ya está dando frutos. Mi hija está en un grupo pues, juvenil, este, yo no estaba mucho cambio en ella, estaba bastante atrasada en el colegio y ha avanzado bastante. A mí no me dieron una educación, entonces yo quiero que mis hijas sean algo mejor, que sigan más adelante que yo. Mis niñas eran bastante retrasadas en el colegio, estuvieron repitiendo años y gracias al programa ellas han avanzado bastante. Las notas que le dan en el colegio han salido bien y le doy gracias al grupo juvenil. En este barrio ya hay muchas niñas que de 11 ya están embarazadas. 
Y a mí no me gustaría que a mi niña le pasara eso. Por eso a mí me ha gustado que ella esté ahí, porque su mente la tenga metida ahí, no en otras cosas. And in Samoa, respect is a real priority. So the kids know about these virtues as they're brought up in their own language. So having this book just confirms that not only we have this, someone on the other side of the world has it as well. And so these books, all these, the ages in these books are real young. So they find out that the, these age groups, their, their age is real special and it gives them an identity in society. It just makes them you know, feel comfortable in where they're living and they could speak out and stuff like that. I'm really, really, really interested in helping these junior youth to understand how they too can be active agents of change in their community. Those who facilitate and run these junior youth programs are called animators. It's a great term to describe what an animator is supposed to do or what they try to do. Uh, bring it to life. It really helps them to uh, learn about service, learn about spirituality, and uh, walks together with them as they go through these really pivotal years. It's, it's all about community building and in, in trying to teach or trying to like impart knowledge and, 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 and just being role models and stuff to these kids because the age between 11 and 14 is a real vital age. Um, you know, they're, they're taking their surroundings, they're really developing who they are. And so we, we recognize this and we, we want to give these kids a good sort of outlook on life and try and focus on the positive. There's a lot of negativity we see in the media and it's, it's just sort of all surrounding us and our lives. The challenge is finding older youth or adults that can actually facilitate these groups themselves. So um, we need, there's a, there's a real demand for more adults and youth to get involved with this program and, and help. There's no shortage of youth. All the youth want to participate. They're really excited to and they all um, respond wonderfully to it. And an animator in my own thought is someone that uh, who accompanied the children while they are in doing their work and it's an assistance to the junior youth classes and also helping them know what they can do in their future. You think I add another day to my week, my five day work week to come here in the morning and entertain you? No, it's animate. What is animate? Bring something to life, yes. I think we're starting to feel a little out of touch, you know, going into our 30s and just kind of feeling like uh, disconnected. And um, I think that's where it kind of sprung out of. It's like, what are we doing that is differentiating us from just, you know, Joe Punchcard, you know, that just kind of goes and does his work and goes home. We were a group of friends that just met each other at uh, parties and such. And as we started talking, our conversations naturally led to the same, same issues, the same fundamental issues, which were, what are we, what are we doing uh, in life? What are we doing? Uh, to affect the world. These conversations became more frequent. The group, from all different spiritual backgrounds, decided to start a study circle to give a more concrete shape to their discussions. They started by going through the first book in a Baha'i-inspired training course called Ruhi. The book covers the spiritual nature of life. As we were doing that, came this idea that we should do something that actually applies these principles to our lives. And so the main principles being the idea of virtues uh, or spiritual qualities as being uh, the meaning behind life. And so we wanted to help kids do, the, uh, do that as well. The group started with a grand vision to establish junior youth programs throughout the city. And they took on a name that underscored their intended staying power. 
They call themselves Chicago Youth Animators. Or see ya. My name is Melody Yates. I began working with youth back in the day. <laughs> you can pick whatever day, but I love being around young people. It's just been really awesome to get to know all the kids, and it's partly, I think, because of this, this junior youth program that they've been getting involved in, that I've seen them starting to build in their confidence. You can see these youth begin to, to flourish and develop into wonderful adults and then start to, to really contribute to bettering their community. It's always heartbreaking to see a child go down the wrong path, but when you can just help to lead one down the right path, it's, it's very fulfilling and it's just, it's heaven and it's awesome. One of the main things for me is, since we are so close to the age of the younger generation, it is easy for us to get along and to help teach them and, I don't know, put a positive influence on them and their life so they can grow up and do the same for the next generation. The junior youth need someone to guide them and, and work with them, but they need someone who they can relate to very easily. And they find that the youth, they're only a, a couple of years ahead of them. So they, two or three years ago, were in the same shoes. So, you know, their problems, their issues, they find very warming and heartening to be able to share these with the youth and comfortably so they can assist them in their daily lives and maybe the difficulties and even celebrate the triumphs together. I think the youth themselves also enjoy the responsibility from a young age to nurture those younger than them because in some societies it's not until you're an adult which you can take responsibility. Not only their age and being able to relate to the junior youth because they have experienced it just recently, but also the fact that they're very open-minded, they're more flexible with their time, and they're able to grasp concepts very quickly, they're able to adapt themselves to their circumstances, and then able to bring that joy and enthusiasm to, a, to junior youth who are thirsting for that. There are these neighborhoods where people have been working for, you know, five years. It hasn't come without a lot of sacrifice and dedication. For some people, it's required actually leaving their homes and moving into these neighborhoods. Uh, for others, it's students that are either in high school or university that make sure that they make that time to be with their group. Now we're beginning to see a, uh, the glimmerings of what's come from this long-term commitment, but it's, it's also required a lot of, I think, sacrifice. My animator moved in to a nearby building just so she can help us and I was like so happy. She's like a sister to me now. I can see it in her eyes that she has the potential to make our lives change. I'm going to graduate and be an animator myself. And then the children I teach will be animators and we're one. I've got a few children's class and junior youth groups but I'm going to step it up. I'm going to step it up and I would like to organize an arts night for all junior youth groups in the vicinity so we can meet together and have artistic presentations where we showcase what we've learned in our junior youth groups. And this is a place where you find your voice and you find the power in you and you find the confidence in you to make a difference and transform the society that you come from. If you have just joined us on Baha'i On Air, we are looking further into how a junior youth empowerment program works. While animators help junior youth, 
There are a few individuals known as junior youth coordinators that support the groups in neighbouring communities. It's always a team of people that consult together, that encourage one another, that compensate for one another. In working in this neighborhood, we have a team that comes together every week that supports the animators. So the animators will animate the group and then we have three or four individuals who give their time every week and come and help with home visiting parents, with picking up the junior youth before the group, and just kind of being there to support and to talk with people in the neighborhood. I ask them a little bit more about these junior youth groups. Again, I'm all about making sure the youth are prepared, man. So I want to say, hey, man, you know, it's funny you're working with youth because that's my passion. That's my thing, making sure that youth are, are good. We got into the conversation about it being a high principle of service. I only hope that the things that I do, the things that I say, the atmospheres that I create make this world a better place through the kids that I teach. I just hope that change someone's life for the better to make not only them a better person but to make their world a better place. A man said to me, he said, how can you smile when the world is settling down? I say, there's my secret. Hold on. Hold on. Change is coming. Je suis coordinateur dans le programme de pré-jeunes. Je sers dans un des secteurs. Dans le groupement, nous avons un coordinateur qui est en train de nous accompagner, comme nous le faisons aussi pour le secteur vis-à-vis euh, -vis de nos amis animateurs. Je dois effectuer les visites régulières dans un groupe donné pour voir ensemble avec l'animateur si le groupe évolue bien ou bien il y a quelque chose qui ne marche pas. Nous aidons aussi l'animateur d'aller faire les visites aux parents des pré-jeunes. Nous visitons quelle famille Nous visitons la famille de notre ami Aaron. Pensez-vous que nous allons parler sur quoi aujourd'hui avec les parents हम अपने गांव में भी एक ग्रुप विजिट करते हैं और अलग-अलग गांव में भी ये हम जाते हैं और वहां पर भी ये ग्रुप विजिट करते हैं और हम एनिमेटर के साथ बात करते हैं ग्रुप के बारे में भी और एक दूसरे के साथ मित्रता बन गया है Este es mi primer libro, el que estoy dando. La coordinadora me ayuda a mí y en los textos cada uno que, que tocamos. Me estoy desarrollándome a explicarlo mejor. Siento que puedo ser mejor cada día. Regocíjate con la alegría, con la alegría de tu corazón. Oye, oye, el más glorioso. ¿Qué necesitas o de pronto en qué te puedo ayudar más? Eh, el, lo que más necesito es como en el estudio. ¿En el estudio? Sí. Vi brisa y una parte tengo dificultad y en otra no. Pero entonces... Este proceso me ha cambiado en el en que yo era antes peleonera montando en los bailes, entonces yo me di cuenta que me está echando a perder la vida mía tan temprano. En cambio uno aquí, ya en uno al instituto, uno se divierte, conoce más gente, uno charla, uno agarra el libro, se pone a leer las secciones y ahí uno espiritualmente uno siente como un cambio, ya, uno siente como un aire. Me gusta porque habla con la verdad y entonces no se siente como que salió del infierno y, y llevó al paraíso. 
Siempre desde que comencé mi proceso he tenido a alguien a mi lado acompañándome, guiándome. Hemos consultado las dificultades, los logros que hemos celebrado. Me ha enriquecido mucho porque también he aprendido mucho de todo ese proceso. Y ahorita yo acompaño a otras personas, siempre con la actitud de respeto hacia los demás, porque siempre tenemos que aprender mucho de los demás. Pero algo importante de lo que no debemos olvidarnos nunca es que somos amigos y que estamos juntos en todo este proceso y que vamos a aprender juntos. Todos estamos trabajando juntos y todos aprendemos juntos y caminamos juntos por ese sendero de servicio. Years ago, I was outside playing with my friends. An animator was playing too. And while we were hiding from the person who was it, she introduced me to Junior Youth Group. So I asked my parents. They said they agreed that it was a great idea. I joined and here I am. My first animator, she came to my door and my dad answered the door and she was telling him about the program and my dad told me, Esther, you might as well join since you're not involved with the community. So I was like, I was like, okay, I will. So I went to it and ever since then I never looked back. Our junior youth group brought a lot of people together that didn't know each other from before. I met lots of people who I didn't even know and I lived right in my building or right in my school and I didn't even notice them. It's a great place to make new friends. Yeah, I made friends with him and his brother. I started coming over to his house. Yeah, we, we like it because we get to do different activities and we get to interact with other people in our community. This junior youth program affected my life, like, drastically. Every time I'm around somebody new, I try and think of what I learned and how it would affect other people, and I try and spread the knowledge. You know? I've learned that my actions have have a lot of effect on people, and it taught me to like reflect on my day and show what's good and bad and how I could change for a next day. It showed me that we need spiritual excellence because without it, it will be really hard to succeed in life. And spiritual excellence is when you use your knowledge and you use your heart and compassion and blend those two together and help someone. I used to get like teased and bullied around the neighborhood. But then my animators, they helped me a lot to get through stuff and like if I have a problem I would talk to them about it. Now like nothing really happens and when I graduate junior youth I will become an animator and just give back what I got. Sometimes that's hard to explain how we're feeling. Right? Or even what we're thinking. Yeah. So one of the things that we're trying to do in this group is to develop our capacity to be able to find those words. Like there's some moments where you want to say something but you really can't express it. So this group really helps you because it tells you how you can express your feelings. Being able to belong with this group sort of helps me identify who I am. Because when I come here, I am myself, whereas sometimes in school it can be hard to say what I'm thinking and act how I want to act because I'm afraid of how other people will see my actions. So coming here allows me to be who I am because I know the people here love me. This is making a difference in my life because um, I started a new school this year and I'm completely new here. When I first came, I had no friends, and this is one of the things that I looked forward to. I was having problems with a friend who was teasing me for a while, and then I came here, and then they told me that I should have courage to get up and say that I don't appreciate what this person is doing, so. I told the person and they stopped. They actually listened, so that was good. The fact that we're all friends here gives us the courage to do what we want to do to help our community. And the service projects we do really um, help with social change because they're changing not only ourselves but helping others change themselves too through either you know, being kind to other people or um, up to having a party for people. It's different ranges of things you do that all helps social change and maybe eventually get the whole world to become better. I've been in this program for about six years now. I've done all the books and I've done a few Ruhi books and now I'm animating my own junior youth group right now. 
I like working so much with juniors because I can, I can see myself in them, how I was when I was younger, and I knew how I grew up to be, they might even be better. It's only right to show the compassion and the guidance that I have been shown and pass it down. By spending time with friends who drink alcohol a lot, um, can we protect ourselves from getting into a habit of drinking alcohol? No. No? Okay. Why not? Why is that the case? I really care about the youths in our community. Honestly, other things out there, such as like going to the park or anything, they're not really impacting anyone but yourselves. But knowing that coming to this program, you help guide other people. That's what really matters at the end, making a difference. From the countryside to the suburbs, to the inner city, animators are working to build the confidence and capacity of junior youth. These junior youth are discovering ways to strengthen the social fabric of their communities through service. In the process, junior youth are finding their voices, finding their strengths, and finding their highest self. Junior youth, they're noble, and they're capable, and that they have the capacity to really arise and make, uh, make huge changes in their lives and in the lives of others. As the writings of the Baha'i Faith teach, how your youth go is how your future goes. If you are interested in learning more about these programs, please contact the Baha'is in your local community. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Kakita Ano. I am, you are, the future. Peace is comfortable. Peace is beauty. Peace is unity. Peace is awesome. Increase the peace. Increase the peace. Increase the peace. I am, you are, we are the future.